Hey everyone, it's Marty. Welcome to the March edition of my studio blog, or my musical blog, whatever you want to call it. And thank you for watching because, you know, uh, it's actually getting some interest from people, which is kind of cool. I just figured it would be kind of a more personal thing to do it this way rather than just send out a, an email to everybody to kind of let you know what's going on. So, before I... Uh, before I go into what's going to be happening in March, um, I got to recap February because it was such a fantastic month for music for me. Um, it started off with the Cool Tones getting back together to play for the Baby Boomers Association, or Baby Boomers Social Club. And uh, if you're not familiar with them, they are a really, really fun group of people. And there's hundreds of them. And it's growing all the time. And uh, they're just, you know, out to just have a good time and dance and... and uh, and mingle and, and meet new people. You know, you can go, it's open to the public or you can become a member. And, um, you know, you can uh, go as a couple or you can go single and meet people there. It's it's just a great thing to, to be a member of. And, uh, God, we had a great time. And there was probably two or 300 people at the Red Line of the Convention Center when we played. And uh, if you want more information about them, check this out. I think I'm doing this right. If I'm doing it right, I'll put it in post-production. Um, after the uh, Boomers, we uh, ran a pressure got together and we went out and played at Pub 181 in Gresham. We were a little leery about playing out there because we were afraid that we just literally weren't going to be able to physically fit on the stage out there. But as it turned out, um, it was it was okay. Actually, uh, Ted had more room on his side of the stage than he does at Hings, which is amazing. And the uh, response was overwhelming. I mean, it was absolutely wall-to-wall -wall people both nights, and we picked up a lot of new fans and friends and and a lot of people that uh, that live out that way that don't normally come out to Hings uh, came out to see us there. So that was great to see them. I was going to videotape with this camera, actually. Um, I took it out there uh, with that in mind, but there just wasn't time or a place to set it. But I did... Uh, I did get a little bit of video from the stage, just an impromptu thing, so check this out. mention Jim Dorothy, our photographer, because I haven't really gone into any detail about how much we appreciate him on my blogs here, but uh, Jim is a, an amazing photographer. Those of you that have gone on our websites or our Facebook pages have seen his work, and um, you know, he not only does band photography, but he does weddings, and um, he does modeling sessions, and family portraits. It's just phenomenal photographer, and we're lucky to you know, have him as part of our team and, and, and as a friend. And uh, so you'll, you'll always see his work among uh, our websites and things like that. I also got to mention our Ladies Under Pressure, which uh, consists of, you know, our wives, our girlfriends, and, and our fans and friends. And uh, they went so far as to uh, surprise us out at Pub 181 with some... Uh, matching t-shirts and tank tops and sunglasses and things like that and, and they're they're just a kick um, and uh, we appreciate them so much coming out all the time and and supporting us and they're all close personal friends of course which leads us into max blue five the project that i've been you know waiting to do for a long time we started max blue five back in i don't know the early the early aughts 0203 somewhere around there and it consists of Jeff and Andy from the Cool Tones uh, as the rhythm section and uh, 
uh, my ex-brother-in-law, Cliff Ashman, who plays harmonica and sings, and he's he plays with the Hudson Rocket Band. And then we got Dan Pettis, an old high school buddy of mine, who used to actually be a cool tone back in the, the very early 80s. And um, he's our keyboard player and our vocalist. And um, he also this time arranged horn parts for uh, three horn players that came out and played with us, um, Jim and Brad and Glenn, and uh, literally only had one rehearsal with at Soundcheck. And they rehearsed a little bit with Dan uh, separately which I'll show you here, and then uh, I'll give you a little bit of our soundcheck night um, uh, from uh, the night before we played. So Friday and Saturday with Max Blue Five were just fantastic. I mean, we just had a ball, you know. Uh, for as little as we rehearsed, we hadn't played for two years. We pulled it off pretty well. We all did our homework. And, uh, you know, Friday night, there was some train wrecks along the way, some with the horn section because of arrangements. But we worked it out, and Saturday night went a lot better. And I'm hoping we recorded the whole, both nights, we recorded both nights multi-track recording. And I'm hoping that I can pull those tracks into my studio and uh, come out with a good, you know, full CD worth of music to listen to down the road. And I'll, I'll let you all know, of course, when that happens. So uh, one other thing I got to mention is we've got a new team member uh, among Random Pressure. And uh, his name is Daniel Cash. And you'll be seeing him at the mixer board out front. And kind of a, a, a very coincidental thing, Dan, Daniel... Um, came out, uh, answered a Craigslist ad that I posted for help on a new light system that I bought that I just wasn't intelligent enough to figure out how to work it. And uh, he answered the ad, came over to my house and was working with the lights and noticed all of our PA equipment sitting around and we got to talking and it turns out that Daniel is a, is a sound man and had just moved up here recently with his wife from California and he was looking for uh, a sound gig possibly and of course we've been looking for a sound man for a while and uh, to make a long story short we we had him come out and run sound for uh, Max Blue 5 as kind of an audition um, Pat Yaden brought out all the random pressure gear and thanks Pat I got to give you credit for that too a lot of work that you did for that I appreciate it but we used it as an audition kind of for for uh, for Daniel to see if his ears were as good as his technical knowledge and Pat gave him the thumbs up so that was good enough for me so we asked him to join our team, and, and he said, yeah. So, you know, you're going to be seeing Daniel out there. He's a great guy, and uh, make him welcome, and he's part of our part of our gang now. So um, that brings us to March, and basically it's just two weekends with uh, Random Pressure at Hings. The first two weekends, March 4th and 5th and 11th and 12th, we got a couple new tunes uh, that we're going to try to work out at Soundcheck. Cross your fingers. Hope they go well. And... Um, I think that's about it. I was going to go down to L.A. in March to, to uh, 
to do some uh, stuff with uh, Pete Holmes and Mark Bain. But uh, Pete's got uh, his band Black and Blues back together. They've got a new CD coming out called Hell Yeah. And they got a couple of festivals booked uh, that's going to take uh, Pete's time away. So we're going to postpone my trip down there until August. Um, so uh, I'm looking forward to that. So anyway, that's it. That's it for me. Um, March is going to be great. We're going to have fun. We'll hope to see you there. And thanks again for listening. Bye.